take a look at 2D shapes and 3D max. 2D shapes can be found right beside the geometry under shapes. And when you click on shapes, we're going to stick with the splines. And under that, we have all these shapes that we can draw, line, circle, arc. And they're very easy to draw. Just simply select what you want to start with, click and hold, drag it out. Now if you noticed when I did that it actually created where I clicked first was the center of the circle and I drug it out from the center of the circle. You can change that by coming down here to the creation method and selecting edge and what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to create the circle from the edge and pull it out that way. All of these are drawn about the same so if we want to draw a rectangle it's the same thing they've got the center of the edge so if we want the center of the rectangle that can be the center pulled out or if we want to draw it from the edge we can do that now in and of itself the 2D shapes aren't that powerful in 3D Max but 3D Max gives us the modifiers which we can do a lot of things with 2D shapes so I'm going to draw just a simple circle and a rectangle and we're going to draw I'm going to draw that from the center so we're going to go circle draw from center and the rectangle draw from center as well but before I do that I've already drawn this circle out I'm going to uncheck start new shape I'm going to pull that out and notice when I do that and I come back over to my modifier they both take the same color and instead of being a rectangle or a circle they're editable splines what that's done is that's created one shape out of the two 2D shapes that I drew. Now the reason why we do that when we come up to extrude our extrude modifier one of the things that we can do is pull that out so I've already set my amount but with a zero amount here and pull that out it pulls it out just like it was one shape. So we're going to delete this object and I'm going to draw a little more go back down to our extrude and we're going to take a look and see what's going on here what happens is it's reading it from the first shape going inward so this is the start of our shape on the outside here and when we hit extrude it's going to extrude this first part which is right here so the next part will be empty and then the next line will start our next shape and then the last circle we have in here defines where the hole is right here alright I've stepped back down to the editable spline and we're gonna incorporate a new modifier called bevel and we're gonna turn our extrude off for right now so the way we do that is we click on the little light bulb beside extrude and we're just going to change the parameters on the bevel so if we come down here to the bevel values. Um, it's got a, several things that we can do here. Uh, the start outline is going to increase or decrease the thickness of our shapes that we have in there. We'll leave that at one right now. So level one is going to allow us. To, this is going to allow us to set different levels of our bevel, and the height is going to allow us to set the height of each level. So for this height, level 1, we're going to set it at a height of 30. Um, we'll activate level 2, and we'll set it at a height of, say, 60. And we'll go to level
Level 3. And set that at 90 just to keep it all even. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit on this so we can see what's going on. And then here, we can adjust our outline for each level. Now notice, when I increase this, we lose our holes in there, which we'll fix in just a little while. So you can play around with this and adjust it the way you want to adjust it. Now if we come up here to this intersections and check on keep lines from crossing, let's take a look before we click on that. I'm going to hit F4, which will show us our lines on the inside there. So we'll click keep lines from crossing and we can adjust this value and start getting our holes back. Come up back up here to the top so you can see what's going on. We'll drop it back down, increase it, and that allows us to get that opening back to where we want it. Now if we play around with these, you can see how it changes our shape. Now from here, if we want to drop back down and edit our object at the lowest level under our editable spline, we simply click back down on our editable spline and we can select the vertices here. And from there, we can control what our shape looks like and modify it. and create some pretty interesting things. You can see how these changes take effect in there. From there, you can add whatever modifiers you want. We're going to delete the extrude and let's say that we want to add a twist increase our angle of our twist or any other modifiers that you feel like you need in your shape 